Good afternoon, family. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you are new here, my name is Jonathan and I created this channel as a way to record my progress as I work towards my goal of losing 300 pounds. If you'd like to join the family, hit that subscribe button down below. Also make sure you click on the bell icon and hit that thumbs up video as, uh, on the video as well um, to, uh, to get notified and let people know that this video is worth checking out. Um, if you'd like to participate in on the discussion, you can join me most weekdays where I go live on YouTube around 4 p.m. Central Time or outside of my YouTube, you can consider joining the Discord I've created. There is a link for that down in the description below. Also down in the description below is a link to a Pinterest board. That is a great place for you guys to see some of our family's favorite uh, meals that we're eating as I work towards losing weight. Today is day 893 of my challenge to lose 300 pounds. So far, I've used a combination of extended water fasting and a whole food plant-based salt oil sugar-free diet to lose 245 pounds, 0.2 away from 245 pounds. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to reaching my goal weight and living the rest of my life at a healthy weight. If anybody has any on-scale victories, it is weigh-in Wednesday. I'm going to go over my weigh-in results here in a little bit. I'd love to hear your on-scale victories. If you have any non-scale victories, I love hearing those as well. If you are succeeding with your diet, let us know what you're doing to succeed. If you're struggling with your diet, let us know what's going on. Maybe there's something that we can help you with. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, what are some things that you are doing or that you can do that will make staying on your diet easier than the alternative. Let's go over, switch over to the big picture here. A bunch of people checking in this morning, this afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me, plants only muncher. Hello, Colleen Berries. Hello, everyone. Excited your first live with Colleen. I'm excited to have you here today. If there's any questions you have, please feel free to ask them. Uh, I love answering questions. Cindy, hello. Carrie's checking in. Biggie is back. How are you doing, Biggie? Uh, pretty girl's mom. I hope you're having a great day. Um, boy wonder. Hey, hey, boy wonder. Thank you, pretty girl's mom. What have you missed? I just got started here, Biggie. So just kind of doing the intro. Uh, if, uh, you're mean in the big picture, I had my way in today and you missed that. I lost 4.8 pounds this past week. And there was a holiday this past weekend in, in the just full of candy everywhere. And I still managed to lose nearly five pounds this week. And I'm really happy with that weight loss. Uh, I'm not back to my lightest yet. My lightest so far is right around 272 to 273. It's 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 in the 272 range somewhere. So I'm still about three pounds away from my lightest weight weight so far since starting this challenge. But uh, that five pounds came back uh, in at the end of February. I think it was the end of February that uh, I kind of gained five to ten pounds, and it stuck around all of March. And now it's gone. So, um, you know, I made a few changes to my diet. We were eating a lot of rolled oats in the evening. We eliminated that, um, I think helped. And just overall, the amount of food that I'm eating in the evenings has been reduced in the last few weeks. So I think that that has helped contribute to my uh, success on the scale. Uh, I also think that maybe it's a little bit of a, a seasonal weight loss. You know, the weather outside is amazing the last few days. My body is just ready to go out and enjoy the sunshine. So it's saying we don't need to store any more of this fat. The sun is out. The flowers are blooming. We can dump anything that we're holding on to in reserve. And uh, that uh, is uh, part of what maybe is caused some of my weight loss is just the change in seasons and weather, I think, has some effect on us. Uh, 
And so Vicky says, you are fine. Awesome. Uh, Tennis and your girl says, congrats, John. Thank you. Uh, Jean says, that is wonderful validation. You are still on the right track. Yes, um, it really is. I talk about, I talked about it in my video. If you haven't had a chance to go watch my way in video after the stream here, go check out that way in video. Make sure you like that video, all that fun stuff. But, uh, you know, I talked about it during the video that, um, just consistently staying on track, consistently being on my diet is consistently showing me positive results and a lot of times the diets i've done in the past they'll give me these short-term results but in the long run they don't last you know i talked about today i was talking with a co-worker about the diet that i i talk about a lot the one in 2013 where i was taking fentermine and that diet was great at causing weight loss because I was barely eating any food. I was taking an appetite suppressant, so I just wasn't that hungry, but um, I never really addressed my food problems. I was just putting a temporary solution on my obesity, uh, hoping that it would get me to a healthy weight, and then, uh, and then I'd figure it out when I got there, and I never got there, and so many of us do that. We we put all our hopes into this diet that's going to get us to our healthy weight, but no, we don't take any consideration into what we're going to do once we get to that healthy weight. And what, uh, if it's better to do it that way, which I've done lots of times where I tried eating a diet of, of starvation to get down to my goal weight. Uh, and then at my goal weight, I would learn how to eat. Or what I've done this time is I figured out how to eat now while I'm losing weight so that when I get to my healthy weight, I'll just continue to get to eat the way that I learned how to eat over the past 800, 900 days, essentially. Um, and so eating this way has been great. Staying, having a diet that I can be consistent on. You know, like there's diets that, that I can be consistent 900 days in, you know, there's a lot of diets that you can be consistent 30 days in, 40 days in, 60 days in, but are you still going to be on that diet 600 days in, 700 days in, 10,000 days in, you know, and so that's really what I, I'm happy to see that weight come off. Uh, it had been bugging me for a little while. So seeing that was great. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead, pull this up here so I can go over my food since yesterday, which was not a lot. Let me see. Yeah, it was not a lot here, but uh, let's see. Cindy says, your husband went to the doctor today and his cholesterol and triglycerides were high. The doctor said he needs to stop eating pasta, potatoes, and carbs. The doctor also says he's a nutritionist. Yes, it is difficult uh, because people, you know, they give, they get these labels and it doesn't mean that what they are recommending is the healthiest thing for everybody or what they're recommending is, is even, you know, it, it, it sounds, you know, like, this anti-carb community that's growing out there um, is uh, is crazy. How it just it it really is. It's difficult to argue against the weight loss potential on a low carb diet, but where's the success? Where's the people that are sticking to keto for years and years and have taken themselves from being morbidly obese to a healthy weight and are maintaining that healthy weight and they're not struggling the entire time to maintain that healthy weight? That's something that I think uh, might not get portrayed enough is that I'm not having a difficult 
time with my weight loss. I'm not stressed about my food. I'm not hungry all the time. I have plenty of food that I eat. And uh, in fact, I got my lunch here that I'm going to start eating here in a second. This is a massive bowl of food. And this is my second meal today. I already ate my breakfast, which I think I took a photo of. Um, and let's see, um, Cindy. So Pretty Girl's mom asked if your husband eats like you. And she says he doesn't eat like uh, Cindy does. He's vegetarian, but he eats some more processed foods. Um, and then uh, did the doctor mention anything about fat intake? Right? I bet he didn't say anything about fat intake and Cindy said, no, he did not. And that was a big thing I talked about in yesterday's video. If you have excess fat on your body, why bring in more fat? Why not use the fat that you have or there's no reason to bring in more fat into your body. And, uh, and so, and the other thing too, that I, I really have to, I feel like I have to say anytime that blood work comes up, is that that blood work was a snapshot of his blood in that moment of time. And, you know, some of those numbers might end up, you know, it might take a long time to push cholesterol and triglycerides certain directions, but it is just a snapshot that day, that moment, what his blood looked like. You take that same blood work the next day, you might not get the same results. So, you know, I think that, People put a lot of stock in what a single test result tells them. And uh, I think they, they would benefit from maybe getting a second test or, or multiple opinions before they make some changes uh, to their diet. You know, some easier changes uh, might not require more testing or, you know, but uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead, pull up food. Like I said, I didn't take a lot of photos and I have half my food here, um, in front of me that I need to eat this before I leave. So, um, if anybody has any questions or anything they want to go over, please ask me now. So I get something to look at while I'm eating, but this was dinner last night. We did not have anything made up or really had in the mood to, to make anything last night. So that is just a picture of potatoes with a pasta, like a, a pizza sauce essentially that Carrie makes that uh, just mix a little bit of that in with the potatoes. And that was my dinner last night. Um, yeah, this is just a better photo of it uh, mixed together. I do have some photos here of me in my bright pink shirt. Ah, I can't believe nobody said anything about being blinded by my shirt here today. Um, but I just took some photos. Uh, let me see. Oh, here's my oatmeal from this morning. I also had a uh, bag of broccoli before I had the oatmeal. And then... Um, and we've been had we Carrie bought a new seasoning. We're trying out. I'm going to show it to you guys here. It is from McCormick. It's called Sunshine by Tabitha Brown. It's an all-purpose seasoning. Here we go. Uh, so it says salt-free on it. Garlic, ginger, ginger, pineapple, mango. There are some uh, outers in here and stuff like mango powder, uh, citric acid, banana powder, some extracts. Uh, if you guys want to see the, uh, I think you could probably pause it and read it if you wanted to see the back label, but we're trying this seasoning out. Uh, I had it on the broccoli earlier. I have it on this bowl of food that's in front of me here. And, uh, uh, it's very spicy. Um, so that really was surprising at how spicy it was. Um, and so I, we're trying, I'm still trying to figure out what the right amount of it is to put in with the food that, that I'm eating, you know, with the, the table tasty that we had been eating. Um, we, uh, we can be pretty heavy handed with the amount we put on there and it doesn't, 
it just makes it taste more like the table tasty. It doesn't overpower the food. Hello, Stephanie Simpson. I hope you're having a great week. Let's see. Um, the Shrinking Shadow says, Hi, Jonathan. Wow. We really are killing it with your weight loss. Congratulations. Proud of you. Thank you, The Shrinking Shadow. I appreciate it. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with the results today. I mean, it's, 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 uh, anytime you see, you know, over a pound weight loss, it's, you know, in a week, that's awesome. But to see four pounds of that weight that I had put on come back off, that's really great to see that happen in one time. Pretty girl's mom says, you think my shirt is great. Thank you. Uh, Shrinking Shadow says, I look great in pink. And so does Colleen uh, says that you love the pink shirt. Yeah, this is not a shirt that I would have necessarily picked out for myself. Our, uh, our community that we live in or the town that we live in has a Facebook group. And if you are in a smaller community or in, in a community, they may have a group like it. Um, but it's called a buy nothing group. And so what people do is they um, can go on the site and they can either request things that they might need. Like we've gone on there and said, hey, my daughter's starting soccer this weekend. I need some size five soccer cleats. Does anybody have any? You get 30 people in the community. They're like, yeah, my kid grew out of those cleats 10 years ago. They've been collecting dust, come and grab them. Um, or people will have things like, hey, my daughter just graduated from high school. She's no longer going to use this soccer stuff anymore. If anybody wants to come pick this up, they can come pick it up. Uh, and that was what this shirt was, was there was somebody who I think had lost weight and the shirts that they had didn't fit them anymore. So they just put them up on this buy nothing site and said, hey, if anybody wants a few 2X and 3XL shirts, we'll put them out on our porch. And so we went and grabbed the shirts and they're really nice shirts. Like the quality of the shirts are really nice. They're very, a lot of them were, uh, I felt like what the person would have worn golfing, you know, if they went out and, and went golfing. Um, but when we first got them, I was still a little bit too big to fit in the shirts. And now I feel like I fit pretty good in it. I can throw it off a little bit. I guess I had those photos too. Now that I have um, some shirts that fit me, uh, I probably should get some pants that fit me too, because my pants are really big, like uh, probably four inches too big for my waist uh, at least. And so I need to pick up some, some smaller pants. Let's see. Shrinking Shadow says, our community is like that too. It's a great place to live. Everyone helps each other out. Yeah, it uh, it's really nice. Um, so my wife, Carrie, she's one of the people that kind of started that Buy Nothing group in our town. And when she was starting it, she didn't know how it would play out. You know, like there's hundreds and thousands of Facebook groups that people start for all different reasons. Um, and it really just started with her and, you know, some friends and some moms that she knew in the community. And now I would say that there is a good percentage of our entire town that, you know, at least somebody in the household is following that Facebook page uh, in some way. And uh, it's also nice that, uh, they moderate who's allowed into the page as well. Like you have to be from our town and, uh, they even, uh, you know, they vet out people, you know, like they'll have people that will even kind of rat other people out and they'll be like, Hey, that Susan, she moved away from LeClaire two months ago. She lived, well, I shouldn't have said the name of the town, but she, <laughs> she moved away from the town two months ago uh, and now lives in a, a town five miles away or 10 miles away. And they're coming over grabbing stuff from our buy nothing group. Uh, so they'll rat them out so that 
uh, people stay honest and, and stay within the community because it is about neighbors helping neighbors. Yeah, I, I really um, not sure about the new flavorings that we have. It's not bad. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more on, but I'm also worried that putting more on is going to ruin it. But it's really, it's got a really spicy flavor to it. And it, it almost kind of one of those... Like that's all you taste after a few bites is just the spiciness of the food. Um, let's see here. Uh, Shrinking Shadow says you missed what I'm eating. It is just broccoli and potatoes. It is, I think it was like four or five uh, golden potatoes. I'm having a hard time with my camera today getting the angle right um it was uh yeah yellow potatoes i guess or golden potatoes and then a steamer bag of broccoli um and <laughs> he says goodness i hope you don't watch me choke live well i got a big bowl of food i gotta eat big bites of it you know if i take little bites i'm gonna be eating um i'm gonna be eating uh uh, forever so i gotta take big bites yes well hopefully carrie's watching so she'll be able to send the authorities this way you can all watch me uh die on stream now that was a really spicy bite like uh, that seasoning i just put on top and carrie's uh yes the spice is the sunshine by tabitha brown i held it up a little bit i have it actually at my desk here so um and uh, let's see. Shrinking Shadow says, oh, it's one of your favorite meals. It's simple, quick, and delicious. It is. We eat it all the time. Every day. Every single day I have potatoes and broccoli. I mean, it's... And, and, and I can say every single day because it probably averages out to every single day. Because there are days where I don't eat potatoes and broccoli. But there's absolutely days where I eat potatoes and broccoli more than once. So... I would say every day I end up having potatoes and broccoli on average. And, you know, I have this seasoning in here. We've used the table tasty. Uh, when we don't have any seasoning, I love it with no seasoning. When we have the uh, California balsamics vinegars, I love it when we have those. Um, but and I never get bored of it. You know, like this is, I think the same thing I ate on stream the other day. And probably the next thing I'll eat on stream is going to be potatoes and broccoli. Let's see. Alicia's Healing Channel says, Hi, I haven't been on here for a few weeks. Your transformation is rapid and amazing. Thank you. It doesn't feel that rapid 900 days in, but yes, I understand what you're saying. Um, I feel like the last few months, even though my weight hasn't moved a ton, I feel like physically I just been in such a better spot. Um, shaving my beard probably helps the, the look a little bit or the, the change a little bit. Alicia also says that her favorite meal is potatoes and broccoli or potatoes and a head of cauliflower mashed. You never get sick of it. Yes, we've been buying the bags of cauliflower broccoli mix and I've been liking those and <clears throat> I don't think I would mind just eating cauliflower with it either. Um, absolutely foods that I would have just cringed at the idea of eating like if, if you to put a bowl of broccoli in front of me i would have just said you know what i just wait till next meal i don't need to have any anything to eat right now um now i, I that's i love it i just eat bowls of broccoli uh all the time um alicia says you look so young and clear thank you um except for this little red dot i gave myself from shaving but uh yeah i've been really happy with my complexion and my skin throughout this entire thing like from the time that i started my fast um it really helped clear up some issues i had with the fluids in my legs and kind of the, what the 
Cindy Davis donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Cindy, you are a rock star. Thank you so much. We will definitely use that towards some of our uh, future uh, potatoes and broccoli. You said for more potatoes and broccoli. Yes, uh, we'll be able to get lots of potatoes and broccoli for $4.99. That would feed us for a day or two, uh, depending on... Yeah, you can get potatoes for pretty cheap. Maybe not all of us, maybe one of us. But yes, uh, potatoes and broccoli, cheap, cheap. So, um, but yeah, I've been really happy with my complexion and my skin since starting this. Um, I never really had bad like acne or facial issues. Um, but I would get no sores on my legs. I would get like what I would call boils at the time, like kind of where my skin folds would be or where my skin would be touching. Um, and uh, yeah, I would get some kind of acne around here, but not bad. I never had super bad acne, but since I started this diet, I haven't noticed a, a single zit or boil or hardly anything on my whole body uh, since uh, November 1st of 2020. And I really think that has to do with the, the diet. You know, I don't eat any oils, so I don't have any oils coming out of my pores. Um, don't eat any dairy, which I think causes some of that acne issue in people as well. And uh, just been really happy with my skin. So uh, I appreciate that. One thing I did worry about was I would, I guess I do got some from the shaving, you know, because I hadn't been shaving for, decades so i was real worried i'd get real bad razor burn from shaving and that really hasn't been that bad uh the first couple times i just used a razor with some soap to shave and then uh the last time or two i've, I've actually put some aftershave on just trying to make sure that it doesn't break out but i haven't really had an issue with that um let's see pretty girl let's see shrinking shadow said just curious are you doing any exercise or are you just losing the weight by eating the right foods? So really the short answer is it's eat, I'm losing the weight by eating the right foods. I'm not doing any um, scheduled regiment or routine. I'm not doing, you know, get up every morning and hit the gym or try to hit X number of steps in a day. Um, but I do have to, my life is so much more active now than it was 200 pounds ago. So even though I'm not working out, my lifestyle looks like a workout compared to what I used to do. And, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, um, I had hit like 10,000 steps by the time I even had the stream. Never I never would have even hit 10,000 steps in a two day period, let alone hit it in one day by 4 PM. Um, and then yesterday was another day where I had a bunch more steps. Today was a little bit calmer day, which was nice for me to have a little bit less of a busy day. Um, and, uh, we, uh, um, what was I talking about? The exercise. So I don't do anything in particular. I, I did try to, I did some exercise back in 2021 when I was about six months into the diet. Um, and I worked out for a couple months, but I actually got injured, which caused me not to work out as much. And then I just haven't gone back. You know, I mean, my physical therapist wants me doing some stuff, you know, work out my arms, but I'm not doing any real workouts. It's all been through diet. That was one of my goals when I started this was to try to lose as much of the weight or to lose the weight through diet because I had tried so hard to lose the weight through exercise. I really did. Uh, back in 2009, when we were kind of trying to have our, our oldest son now, our oldest kid, um, I was at the gym so much, just hitting the gym every day, trying to just out work out a bad diet. You know, I had a trainer who was telling me to eat cottage cheese before I went to bed because it would help break down the food in my stomach and just all kinds of nonsense um, at the time. But I was doing what I thought was right. 
Lance Only Muncher says that the uh, Tabitha Brown's price here on Target, on Target, it says that she is an actress and she is a vegan. She's never heard of her until you saw one of her unhealthy products at Target. Um, yeah, Carrie said that she ordered this one on Amazon, but our kids tried her chips when she had them available at Target. Most of her stuff isn't SOS friendly, but we uh, do love seeing new vegan lines and it's a step in the right direction. Yes, for uh, getting rid of the animal products out of your diet, you know, seeing more of the vegan things. I feel like Carrie... I feel like me and Carrie had a conversation about this lady. Maybe it was when she was ordering it. She kind of saw that same stuff that you're talking about. Um, Plants only muncher about her being a vegan actress. And uh, uh, I feel like we were looking at her other things as well. Carrie says, yeah, that this season here is salt free and it sounded interesting. So we're going to give it a shot. So, um, yes. Uh, and I, I like it. I do like it. Uh, it's, it's got a, again, it's a surprisingly spicy flavor. Um, and the sweetness to it, you know, is, uh, what is it? There's mango powder in there. I think there's also like, uh, maple syrup powder. Yeah. The sweetness is, is a little bit different. Um, Carrie says that she thinks she is maybe a social media celebrity, like maybe on TikTok or something. Yeah, I don't know. I've not heard of her before. But there's a few. Didn't the Kevin Hart, he started a, a plant-based burger restaurant out in California, I think, which is cool to see um, more options popping up. You know, that was... That's one of the difficult things that we have living in the area that we live in is that there's not a lot of, you know, dedicated vegan, um, the, uh, uh, dedicated vegan restaurants. You know, when you get to bigger cities, you, you get those things. So anytime we see something that pops up that says vegan, we try to support it in, in some way. Um, Carrie said, yeah, there is the maple syrup powder in there, which she didn't realize. Um, but it's going to be something nice to have. It's different than the, uh, table tasties. Um, Jean says, yeah, always read the small print. Yeah. Well, they, they make it caps lock. So, um, it's not small print, but it makes it really hard to read, which, you know, that's, uh, not by accident. Um, if you guys didn't know that when you look at an ingredients label, a lot of times, the more ingredients the food has, the more likely that they're going to have that in all capital letters, uh, because it is more difficult to disseminate the information when everything is in caps locks. And so they, uh, hope to deter people from really looking into the ingredients list when they do things like that. Uh, now that may not be. The intention every time somebody does it, but that is definitely the result uh, from what they when they do that. So you may find a product that is almonds. All that's in it is almonds, and it, the word's all in caps lock. But a lot of times it's that way, uh, so it's harder to understand. Colleen says, have you tried any of the Well Your World spices, the no salt seasonings? Uh, no. Yeah. Carrie says we need to try them. We tried some of their sa sauces when we first started eating this way. <coughs> I really, I, I, I love well, your world. I appreciate everything that they do. And they're a big reason why I started eating this way. Um, but with so many of these products too, and even like this one's a little bit different cause it has all these powders in it. But, um, a lot of them I look at and I'm like, man, if we just had the right base ingredients we could just make that ourselves and i think we felt that way about the sauces we were kind of like uh if it's just whole plant foods then we could make these whole plant food sauces ourselves um but with the seasonings it might get a little bit different because you have some specialized ingredients there um acorn gaily is saying i'm trying to focus on the food over exercise at the moment too finally caught a live no problem so much my breakfast oh you're munching your breakfast oats over in new zealand i'm coming to visit 
Um, we don't have any fancy vegan products here. Yeah, it's something where um, I've seen a lot of stuff about New Zealand and they seem to have a lot of influence by the dairy industry. Um, so you don't maybe see as many vegan products. But the nice thing is, is that some of the basic foods in the world are vegan. Potatoes, rice, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, spinach. Lots of these ingredients that you can find. Um, unfortunately, you, you just got to work on processing the food yourself. You're not going to maybe be able to find a local company that's going to process it into a cereal like you want or process it into, well, there's a lot of vegan cereals too, but I think you get what I mean. Um, yeah, it does make it more difficult. Um, but uh, I think that overcoming that difficulty also strengthens your diet like for me you know like overcoming the difficulty of having to go out and eat with people makes me stronger as like i said in this diet it makes my resolve even stronger to stick to this diet so um but yeah it can be tough cindy here says that plantiful kiki had a new book edition come out on the 11th it's called plantifully lean that looks really good there's recipes, meal plans, and the 50-50 plate. Is that kind of her focus? I think it might be. Um, she does a lot of the, you know, 50-50, which is a lot of what my food is. You know, this is half of this is broccoli, half of it's potatoes. So it's 50-50. It's just in a bowl. Carrie's asking if anybody has any favorite spices from um, Well Your World. Acorn said making your own might be worth a try. Yeah, you know, that's something that we've really learned on this diet is is that or I feel like I've learned on this diet is the more you allow somebody else to process the food that you're eating, the more likely you're going to add something into your diet that's going to cause you to gain weight or keep you from losing weight. So if you can become the processor, you know, if you're the one that blends the food down, you're the one that chops up the raw ingredients you're less likely to add those added calories because when people are making the food for you, they add those calories for a few reasons. They want you to enjoy their food. Um, and, you know, like a loved one would make something, they say they put a little extra love in it. Well, that extra love is extra salt, it's extra oil, and it's extra sugar. That's what the extra love is, is those ingredients. Um and when you go to a restaurant, they want you to come back to their restaurant. So they make their dishes very rich in those items. They want you to choose their food over the competitors, you know, at the grocery store, things like that. So, um, yeah, when you can make it your, on your own, it's uh, a difference. Carrie's saying, yeah, getting a high-powered blender was a game changer for us. Uh, that is a hard word to read. It is renesituative. Renesituative? Congrats. Thank you. Uh, Carrie's asking, um, if you, let's see. Carrie says you signed up to be a member of the Giroudi family on Easter, and that got you a free ebook. You bet. Uh, Cindy says she doesn't have any of their ebooks. Um, Shrinky Shadow says you tried the Well Your World sauces. They are fantastic. But the shipping cost is horrible. Yes, that's part of it too, is that um, you look at the cost of buying the product, uh, then you add the shipping cost on top of that, and then you get the product, and then you're like, well, maybe with all that cost it took me to get it, I could figure out how to make this tomato sauce. And then we did. We make our own tomato sauce now. That was the first thing we bought was, I think we bought banana pancake powder from them and uh, like a pasta sauce or a couple different pasta sauces. And then we just started making our own pasta sauce. Yeah, Gene, yeah, the 50-50 is the Dr. McDougal rule for maximum weight loss. Uh, it's not for maintenance eating. Okay. Um, Colleen says, Planet Kiki was on Chef AJ yesterday. I think I saw that she was on there. Um, she was interested in hearing more about her book. It does look good. Um, and then Shrinking Saturday says it is so much cheaper to make your own sauces. Yeah. Becoming your own processor of food will save you a lot of money, uh, saves you a lot of excess calories and things like that. Uh, I do wish I could stay longer. I really appreciate the conversation that we've been having this afternoon, but I have a work meeting that I have to get in my car and drive for an hour here. So I have to get on and I still got to finish this bowl of food. I'm, I'm not even halfway through it. So 
I haven't been focused enough on eating. So I need to finish eating, get in my car, drive to the meeting. Uh, but I will be back live tomorrow, uh, 4 p.m. Central Time, just like always, and would love to continue the conversation with you guys tomorrow. So Cindy says, have a great weekend. Don't choke. I'll try not to choke. I'm not going to everybody here watching me. Um, Colleen says, fun for your first time here. Thanks for coming. I, uh, um, I appreciate you checking out the lives. There was a few people that checked out the lives for the first time or a few people that even came back that hadn't been on the lives for a while. So I appreciate that. Carrie says, car broccoli. Yeah, it's going to be um, wolfing down potatoes and broccoli in, in the office. Uh, but uh, eating now, I'm eating a big bowl of food now so that when I'm at my meeting that's at a restaurant slash bar, I don't have any temptation because I just ate three pounds of food. So I'm not hungry. I'm not going to go to the meeting hungry. So whatever's there isn't going to tempt me. And then I know I'm going to have food when I come home. So I'm eating a large portion before the meeting and I have food in my future, which I think are very important things when, you, when you're when you trying to lose weight and stick to your diet. You need to avoid being tempted by the temptations. And if you have a full stomach, it's easy to avoid that temptation. But I'm out of here, guys. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, get subscribed to the channel. If you haven't clicked the bell icon, click the bell icon so you get alerted when I go live or post new videos. And if you have not started your diet yet, what are you waiting for? There's nothing coming up that's more important than your health and your overall well-being. There's nobody that gets to their goals that looks back and wishes they would have waited. I'm not even to my goal and I kick myself every day that I didn't start sooner. So get started right now, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow.